I invite Dr. Rupak Kanti Bishwas, sir, for his talk on retinal punch. He's a co-founder and director of Netralium, the super speciality eye hospital from Calif. First of all, I would like to uh, thank uh, PB sir and DAD madam for uh, this opportunity for this podium. And this is always good to be on, on, uh, on a, any day at your alma mater. So this is, this is my privilege to share the, uh, my retinal punch device here. So uh, when you go there and you know, down there and then take a little uh, piece of tissue and then come out without any much of maneuver. This is just for an anteposterior uh, uh, take, which is more in, in case of biopsy, that goes for a punch. But when you have a, if you go to the neurosurgeon uh, initially where, where the trifine has first been de you know, developed, where the bar hole technique was there. So the, when you have a rotational movement, we'll prefer to call it more of a trifine rather than a punch. So this is the pre-op and post-op, you know, uh, differentiation of uh, this is occurring. And uh, right now, as of now, we have only, this is, there are multiple techniques has already been described, but when you put this kind of, you know, free ILM flap there, and, and then you see the outcome, the anatomical closure is always there, but, uh, you know, and you see the, uh, uh, with, high resolution OCT, you see this central part is only filled with scar. As Dr. DAD was showing last uh, presentation, that there was no retinal tissue where the neuro integration uh, is a different part, but at least the anatomical integration was there, but here you cannot make it out. So then we decided to put uh, re uh, the retinal tissue per se as such into that area. And the first case was, I did it in uh, way back in uh, 2015. And then initial period, I was taking the same size of the graft. And then I had one subretinal migration on one case, uh, the graft loss was there. So then I was little disappointed and then I stopped doing for maybe another one year. And then I rethought that why this thing is happening. So I have increased it to 15 to 20% of the size. So this was a graft uh, this was a failed right now where the size was 450. So I've taken a punch of uh, uh, trifine of size of four, 550 micron. And uh, this is uh, uh, just a brief description of this. This is after doing a complete, this is the vitrectomized eye, this is a failed graft. So with the bimanual technique and Chandler's lights on, it's just a simple rotational movement. And then in the left hand, you just hold the margin of the, with the, with the forceps and rest of the part you can just take it out with the scissor. And then in the left hand you do fluid air exchange and under air you just put it there. This is as simple and as you have seen the amount of the bleeding which is occurring there, it was not actually the touching the choroid. So the amount of the bleeding was as simple as that. Then you do, uh, you do a uh, donor site, you um, uh, laser and then tamponade. Now, uh, the most important is that here the exact size. And second thing is that when you are taking the uh, graft, there is no margin which is you know, laserized or cauterized. So there is the tissue which is still viable. So the main purpose of this is, and then we have seen the integration of uh, this uh, graft here. You can see the, the, uh, the anatomical integration almost having the similar kind of uh, tissue uh, architecture, and the main purpose is here is is to exact to harvest a exact size or just a 15 percent increase of the size of this graft. Probably the neuro integration or the aberrant regeneration probably can take place here. So that is the main idea of it. And uh, what we have seen is this is this is a normal uh, you know uh, uh, multifocal ERG of a normal retina, which is compared to a Next is, this is a standard ILM peeling where you can see there is a, a very small spike is there. This is with failed graft and there is ILM is there, ILM incorporated and this is the graft where you can see the, so you can, you can see in, in, in one page, this is normal retina, this is a classic ILM peeling, this is repeeling with plugging and this is the grafting. And we did, I, I don't have the access of the microperimetry, but I did 10-2 for few of those cases. And you can see it, the, even the foveal threshold was 25 to 27 my, uh, decibel. This is another case which also having 25, 26 uh, decibel of uh, you know, the central area foveal threshold. 
these are you know just a uh, support of how the integration occurs and the OCT and frozen angiography to show the you know vascularization of the graft and this is how but yet yes neurointegration evidence is still yet to come thank you thank you all thank you very much sir for a very innovative talk